number of years ago, I was approached by a close friend of mine, David Goder, and he asked me if I could attend a meeting. They started telling me about this organization, JFS. I had heard about it. I realized that this was an organization that really impacted many, many families in Passaic. I felt an achrayas, I felt a responsibility because it touched that many people. One of the interesting things about the organization is that it's really an umbrella organization of many different organizations. Obviously, Somech Achim, which has the deepest impact on many families in town, or the regular JFS social workers that are Moise Nefesh, when they're working with adults and children throughout the town in the different schools or in people's homes. People of all walks of life, wherever Shul you daven in, wherever Yeshiva you, you attend, all age brackets, they have so many different services and they're impacting so many different areas of people's lives, but it's with such a with such a sensitivity and such a, a mesikos, it just epitomizes what Paseg is all about. What makes the Davids so unique is their commitment to individuals, to their community at large, and really Klal Yisrael as a whole. A number of years ago when JFS was in the position where we were facing a daunting task of having to increase our fundraising significantly. In our routine meeting with the Davids, not only did they do what they were able to do, but they stepped up in an absolutely incredible way to make sure that the agency was taken care of as a whole. Everything you're involved with, in every tchum, in every area, it has bracha. If you are involved, there's going to be atzlocha. And the secret to the success of your atzlocha is Hashem itcha, You bring Hashem in your life, in your personal life, in your business, and it spills over to your, your endeavors with the cloud with every organization and every moise that you're involved with. And with Hashem, you should just continue your rabbits and to bring Hashem in your personal life, continue to, to bring it in connection with everyone you, you, you're involved with and continue to see that bracha and that and b'chol Hashem at Every person has the koiches, which is a tohim rab, it's a mayon, a wellspring of, of koiches. But the Bezja and his rabbits, they, they have the, 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 the foresight they know how to dig and use their use their careers in that that very special and we wish them upon uh, on this, uh, this opportunity to continue in all their ways with everything that they do in the of the children to see nachas and have the good health to enjoy it. <laughs> Hashem, שכול הילדים ואתם תגדלו בתיר וישמיים וסיעת דשמיים תוך רחוב הסדס שיהיה לכם שפע רב שתוכלו תמיד להגדל תיר ולהדירום תוך רחוב הסדס ולראות נחס בוני מני בוני גדול יותר ויהיו. The Davids don't know how to say no. And whenever we think that something is impossible to be done, that's what gets Ezra to do whatever he can. And especially when it's related to COVID-19, there's no boundaries and no limits. And whatever we think we can do, the Davids will be able to do. I think what inspired Adina and I to get involved in JFS was that we saw up close the impact that they had on the community, but we also have friends that both volunteer and actually are active social workers for the organization. And when we heard from them what amazing work the JFS does to people from all over the community, and we've, we've heard from their Abonim, like their Berkowitz and their Shiva Mayor, how important and integral this organization is for the community. So Adina and I really felt like we wanted to get involved and take an active role in this organization.